So he is sallallahu alayhi wa is closer to Musa and Isa and all the prophets and such are we, his followers sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, when Isa alayhi salam comes at the end of the time, he will be following the way of Muhammad alayhi wa sallam, leading his ummah and following his way. He's not bringing anything new, just following on the way because this is the last will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is the last prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number three, Imamatu bil Anbiya, he was chosen by Allah, Rabbul Izzah. Not because he's Arabic, he is this, and that it's Allah who chose him and appointed him to be leading the prophets in Bayt al Maqdis, Jerusalem. So he is the leader, is, is more qualified than those who are behind him. He is the Imam al Anbiya, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Number four, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiven him anything previous or you know coming in the past and in the, in the, in the present and the future he is forgiven he is guaranteed he got enough that whatever shortcomings he that he has done or he will do is forgiven to him according to surah al fatih the beginning of surah al fatih as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said number five he has been given that remove the risala his mission his message is to all al alameen the worlds al ins wal jinn al bashar to everybody that it's not given to anybody before Isa Musa alayhi salam with Qala Musa li qawmini ya qawmini matubdunani wa qad ta'alamuna inni rasulullahi ilaykum I am the messenger of Allah to you Isa with Qala Isa ibn Maryam ya bani Israel inni rasulullahi ilaykum so according to the Quran all prophets are sent to their people according to the Bible Isa alayhi salam he also said that he was sent to the walls rams or sheep of the house of Israel so no one is sent to all humanity except him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kafat al-nas bashiran wa nadira wa ila adi akhaw muhuda to the people of Ad, Hud, their brother was sent to them wa ila thamuda akhaw salihah all prophets according to the Quran and other scriptures were sent only to the people but Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent to everybody everybody not only humans umum al-risala that's number six littaqalayn insu wal jinn he is sent to humans and to jinn as well. From the jinn are good people who are believers and they follow the Nabi Sallallahu And some of them accept the Quran. Inna sami'na Quran an ajma yandi ila rushdi fa'amanna bihi. That's what the jinn said according to the Quran. He said, you heard beautiful, wonderful Quran recitation guiding to the right path and we believe in it. And they have believers as well, Muslims from the jinn because they are rational creatures of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Blessed is the one who sent this Quran criterion for his servant Muhammad وسلم, so that he will be warrior for all the alameen, the uh, worlds. And that's, that was clear from his life. The stones will talk to him, trees will believe in him, animals will complain to him according to many ahadith as well as a jinn and an incident, everybody salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. Number seven, he is Qatam al-Anbiya wal-Mursaleen, the seal, the last of all prophets and messengers. La nabiyya ba'di, no prophet after the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This should be clear, this is Quran and Sunnah and Aqeedah. Anybody believes in a prophet after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is rejecting Islam. Simple as that, what? because he is rejecting Quran. Those who believe in Mirza Ahmed, Al-Qadiyaniya, Qadiyanis, those who believe in the Baha'iyya, Baha'is, they believe some other people came after the Prophet and they are messengers. If they believe their messengers after the messengers, they are simply rejecting an ayah in the Quran. Uh, so he was Khatam al Anbiya wal Mursaleen, according to many ayat and hadith. In, in the hadith, in the Mathal wa Mathal al Anbiya al Qabli, the example of me and Prophets before me is like a house. Somebody built a very nice house. Illa mawdi'ulabina. Except for a, a little, you know, brick that's in there that made all the building missing something. But until he said, وَأَنَا اللَّبِنَةِ He says, Allah Sallam, he to himself, and I am this little brick that completed this building. So Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he feared that he is the seal, the last prophet that was there to uh, end uh, this Adat and to, uh, you know, be the last of all prophets. All prophets, their miracles are done. Musa alayhi salam came with a lot of mu'ajizat, done. We haven't seen, we, have, we read in the stick that he hit the, uh, the, the ocean with a slap open. He hit the al-hajar uh, with the asaka. He hit with this, the same stone, he hit the, the same stick, he hit the stone and then it gushes out water for the people and they wanted that. They were in the diaspora in Sinai, 15th in Sinai. Who believe in that? We haven't seen it. 
uh, who believe in all the mu'jizat of the prophets, but it's not there, except for him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Quran al Kareem, up until nowadays, Muslims, non-Muslims, even those who memorize Quran and know Quran, we need to rediscover the Quran, reread the Quran, and get the guidance from it, it still guides millions of people. All of these non-Muslims who revert to Islam, all of them, I assume, it's because of something there that they, when they read the Quran and talk to them, including our brothers and sisters here, it, 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 they all say there's something special in the Quran, special when we read it, even the English translation, which is not Quran. English translation, anything other than Arabic is not Quran. It's the translation of the Quran, and it has some of the light of the Quran in there, but still, when somebody reads it, they can see that. This is the mu'jiza, the miracle of Muhammad Allah said, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafadun. Indeed, we have revealed this dhikr, remembrance, and we will protect it, take care of it. Muslims who divide Sunnis, Shias, what have you, Quran is still the same, because Allah is protecting him. That is the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And number, uh, the next number is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called him in the Quran not like any other prophet. He is the only one Allah called him bisifatihi. He called him with some of the scriptures. Allah called Musa, Ya Musa, Ya Isa, Ya Nuhu, Bihbul Bissalam al Minna. Ya, he called everyone by his name. When it comes to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will call him servant of Allah. And also in another special uh, way of calling him, أَقْسَمَ بِحَيَاتِهِ لَعَمْرُكَ إِنَّهُمْ لَفِي سَكْرَتِهِمْ يَعْمَهُمْ By your life. Swearing by the life of Muhammad Obvious, Obviously for us to swear by anything, anything other than Allah. This is the hadith. مَنْ أَقْسَمَ أَوْ مَنْ حَلَفَ بِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ We cannot swear by anything other than Allah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can swear. He swears by the pen. السَّمَوَاتْ وَالْأَرْضِ الضُّحَى وَالْلَيْلِ And he sweared amongst what he sweared. Uh, by, swear by the light of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to show how special is this light. The Shafa'a al-Ubma khusra bihan Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from all the prophets and messengers, uh, he will be the one qualified to ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala to begin the judgment. When people are there, for fi yawmin kana maqdawahu khamsina alfa sana, standing, waiting for a day that, that sounds or looks like 50,000 years, and they would just hope to move, to be revealed, to be removed from that place, to go anywhere, even to the hill. Waiting is not good, is not, you know, it's painful. Waiting under the sun, suffering, not knowing what's going to come next. Then they will go to Ibrahim, to Adam, to all the prophets, and all of them will apologize because they said, we have this shortcoming, we have this little thing here. Then they come to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he would make a shafa'ah, he would uh, proceed, uh, uh, intercede with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him uh, to start the uh, hisab, the reckoning, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do that because of shafa'at al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Many things that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, we continue inshallah later on, but we don't want to, uh, you know, keep going on and on for the sake of time. That's some of the few characteristics of him, sallallahu wa sallam, wa alayhi Now we believe in him, alayhi sallallahu wa sallam, but we have to demonstrate his faith by showing love to him, alayhi sallallahu wa sallam, in the right way. Just like Sahabat of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You will not show love to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you read poems about him and this and that and madha Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but not following him. The best and the most important way to do him, so to do, to uh, love him, show your love to him, is follow him, sallallahu wa sallam, wa alayhi. Take him as uswa, as role model, as guide in his akhlaq, in his characteristics, in his patience, in his mercy, in everything that he said. Take his standard as the standard of your life, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Conclude by one very important thing. I don't know, for some reason it's you know confusing, even for some fellow imams. Saying Merry Christmas, we are in this time right here, it's kind of confusing for some people. هذا من الفقهي وهذا مما أخذ الله جل به الميثاق على ما أوتوا العلم. It's not right to say Merry Christmas or to be involved in anything that involves faith things. We that's not part of being nice to your neighbors. We as Muslims are supposed to be nice to our neighbors. We're supposed to be good to them, better than anyone else. When it comes to لكم دينكم واليدين, when they celebrate مولد الرب. They celebrate the, the birth of their God. And they celebrate it. And then we share with them, we say, yes, good, congratulation. That, that, is, that is against our faith. Allah is not feeling, is not, not feeling well. Is Allah doesn't approve of that. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is Eid and Ayyad al-Shirk. When it comes to form, the July 4th, when it comes to any of those social events, we are supposed to show our love and participate with our neighbors. But when it comes to somebody celebrating the birth of God, we believe he is one. We don't believe that he was born. Then some would say, what, what is wrong in that? Saying Merry Christmas, I have my faith. You have your faith and you are celebrating or you, you are congratulating them that they are celebrating them, that they are seeing them. What if, what if your neighbor is worshipping a cow and he is having a Eid, one day for the cow? What if he is having a Nairoz, worshipping the fire? No, it, it, we don't go there. We don't go, it's not part of us being backward, it's just our faith. It is our faith. And that's not to say, no, let them do whatever they, they do. And alhamdulillah, we always have the option. You can have, you can say nice, uh, happy holidays, just holidays in general. But not Merry Christmas. Because this is Eid Shirki. This is what it is. They celebrate the birth of their gods. We don't believe in that. It's completely against our faith. It's, it has nothing to do with Sayyidina Isa. We believe in Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. We love Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. But we believe he was not God. And he was not born as God. So do, even though they, 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 they congratulate us in Ramadan and share with us, they do whatever. They, we are al-haq. We have the haq. It's not about we feel. No, this is the haq. If they do that, whether they are right or wrong, actually if they are true followers of Christianity, true followers of their rabbis and, and the priests, they would they would accept, they would they have to say that we are not we're not gonna go to the kingdom of God. Let's be it's either you, you have faith in that or you reject it. Simple as that. It has nothing to do with being nice and good to your neighbors. You know, be nice and good, but not at the, the expense of your faith. Actually they feel that. Many of them, those who understand, they say to you, yeah, I know you might not believe in, in Merry Christmas, but happy holidays. And now we Muslims are trying to go out of, of track to do that. Like, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when, when he came to al Madina, he found them celebrating some ayat. He said, Abdalakum Allahu khayram min huma. He said, Allah has replaced you with two days that you celebrate. Obviously, there, was, there were religious things that they celebrated in there. We don't want to go to the religious things. But all the social things, fine, completely fine. But when it comes to our deen, no. That's, we don't believe that God was born for this or that, but we still we can say and happy holidays, and this is how we, uh, you know, uh, should reply. Where is this in the Quran? Where is this in the Hadith? Whoever says that doesn't have anything to do with, with, with the Islamic knowledge. I'm sorry to say that because not everything is mentioned in the Quran. This is fiqh. This is the fiqh, the understanding, the scholars who read the ayat and the Hadith and read the spirits of the ayat and the Hadith. It's not there. You will not find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling you in the Quran, do not say to the Christians, Merry Christmas. They will actually misquote ayah, being good to your neighbors. No, we didn't say, you don't have to be good to your neighbor. Be good to your neighbor. You have to be good to your neighbor. I tell you one thing, if they work for you, give them, give them a day off. You can give them even some money like everybody else would do. That's not celebrating, that's just give, let, letting them do whatever. If you, have, if you are married to a Christian woman, you know, give her time to do whatever she wants to do, give her... That has nothing to do with sharing with you. But when it comes to congratulating them, that I congratulate you, when you say Merry Christmas, what does it mean in other words? I'm sorry for taking a long time. It means in other words, I, you know, I congratulate you for that nice event. Which means what? Which means what? You accept of it. No. When it comes to shirk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our faith comes number one. If you have to, to, to say that, say it to them. No, I don't believe in Merry Christmas. But you don't have to say it. You just can say Happy Holidays and that's it. He was not born in December. That's another thing that Santa Claus and all of these giving him the cap.